Hey, what's up guys? So we're back with some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator because you guys seem to absolutely love my other videos and that's what happens. You leave a like and it lets me know what you guys want to see so I bring you more of it. Now we've got nine matches in this video. Eight of them have been suggested by Donna who has suggested other matches in my previous videos. So thank you for the awesome suggestions. We're actually going to work backwards through your list because I think that the first match you suggested is going to be the most awesome so we're going to put that one at the end. So don't forget to leave a like on this video guys and also subscribe so you can keep up to date with all my content and also hit that notification bell because then that way you could be the first to see the videos when they get uploaded and also get notified when I'm live streaming. So thank you for watching this video and also if you want to feature in some of my future videos like Fortnite, Creative, also Battle Royale, also some Grand Theft Auto and other games you can join my Discord server and you can find the link to that down in the description. And there's also a link down there for Streamlabs. So if you want to donate money to help support my channel, I'd be very grateful to it. But obviously you don't have to. You can still enjoy my content. It just allows me to bring better and more content. Obviously the more money that I make. So let's go on with the matches, shall we? So what do we have first? We have 45 Spears versus 1 Mammoth. Now we've done this in some previous videos, so we're not going to spend too long on it. So let's just quickly whack in 45 spears. Uh, let's put the 5 at the front. And 1 mammoth. There we go. And let's go. Let's get on with it. Now we know who's going to win this one. And uh, yep, it's the spear throwers. Because we've actually done the test before where it actually only takes 22 spears to actually kill the mammoth. So 45 is a bit overpower, but that's just how it is. So that one was nice and simple and easy. And we can get that one out of the way. Let's just get rid of those. I don't know why I keep doing that when I can just click clear up there. And then the next one is one Artemis versus one of every defensive unit. So... Let's put in Artemis first. That's if I can find her, because I always seem to miss her. There she is. So we've got one Artemis, and then we've got to work out the defensive units. So I'm guessing that's the shield people. So we've got a shield. We have also got none in that one now. Do we have any in here? Not really. I mean, that's kind of defensive. So we'll put in a potion as well, because that's kind of defensive. I don't really know what to do about the knight because that's it's got a shield, but that's still quite an attacking unit. But we'll go with that one as well. Why not? Let's just make it a bit harder for Artemis because we know that she is quite powerful. So then we've got another shield there. We've got another shield there. That's all of it for that one. Did I miss one? No, I didn't. Then we've got another shield there. And none in Dynasty. So that is the defensive units, from what I can tell. First is one Artemis. So let's go on with that one as well. And she really does fire so fast. I'm wondering whether the confusion, because they seem to have upped the confusion now, because they do fall down quite easily. Now, what's actually left? She might actually get killed by the knight. Nope, she killed the knight. And she killed the potion thrower. So, yeah, Artemis won, which kind of surprising, really, that you wanted me to do that battle. Maybe I should have put in five of each, but I do exactly what you guys want. So that's what happens. So the next one is seven hay balers versus 20 archers. So let's grab the hay balers. Where are they? There. So that was seven hay balers. And the normal archers are in medieval. And that was 20 of those. So I'm thinking let's do two lines of 10. Because it just makes it look a little bit neater. Even though I do keep staggering them like that. But let's go. Now the hay balers. Okay. I've, yeah they are doing quite well. I was going to say they should do quite well. Because they can obviously take a lot of arrows before they die. That's basically the only thing they're good at. Is taking loads of arrows but I don't think they're going to win because they don't seem to actually be able to attack any of them oh they got one two three four five any more six seven eight well he went for ages well done to him that was pretty cool now I'm wondering 
Can we get the red team to win by just simply putting the hay balers closer? So let's put seven right on the line and let's go again. Let's see what happens. Now obviously, oh, nope, they did all survive this time. We lost one quite early on. Now I'm thinking they should actually win this one. But we shall see. Yeah, I think they've easily got this one. So if they can get up to the archers pretty quick, they can actually win really easily. Nice, okay. Well, the hay baders aren't as useless as I thought they were going to be. So that was pretty cool. Now, the next one is two wheelbarrow dragons. Now, they are in the special, I believe they are. So we've got wheelbarrow dragon, wheelbarrow dragon versus one dragon, which is in dynasty. So one dragon. I don't really know. Do I put them further back? Let's put them a bit further back so it gives them a bit of a chance. And one standard wheelbarrow, which should be in the farm a bit. There we go. So two wheelbarrow dragons versus a dragon and a standard wheelbarrow. Let's go. I thought they would have actually killed that wheelbarrow pretty quickly. Now we're going to lose one of the wheelbarrow dragons because he's flipped over. But they are wiping them out pretty quickly. But it is just him versus those two now. So it all depends if he can do enough damage before... Nope. He couldn't do enough damage before they killed him. That was quite interesting though. It's, I think the red would have won if the wheelbarrow didn't flip over straight away. I think that's what really messed it up. But yeah, that was actually quite an interesting battle. So... Moving on to the next one, we have got 100 halflings versus 3 scarecrows. Now this should be quite interesting, having 100 of them. Now I'm wondering, do I do lines of 20? Let's do lines of 20. Because it makes them look a little bit neater. And if I do lines of 10, it's going to be way too long so we'll do yeah lines of 20 so we've got 100 halflings and three scarecrows now i'm going to set them back a bit because obviously that's their advantage is distance so one two three and let's go i'm going to slow it down just so i can get the camera into position better there we go and now just as they attack let's slow it down a bit more i do like the scarecrows I weren't too sure about them, first of all, but they're all right. They're not too bad. Now, the halflings obviously all just lunged at the crows that came out of them. So, they are still heading for the scarecrows, though. Some of them are just getting caught up on the other ones, and they're sort of just grabbing on because that's their attack that they do. And the halflings won quite easily, to be honest. We didn't really get to see it because I messed up the camera going behind the building. But that's my fault. So I'm wondering, let's put in... Let's put in 10. We'll put in 10 Scarecrows versus 100 Halflings. That I think that will even it up a little bit. I do need to slow it down because otherwise the lag is going to be way too much. Because we know what happens if we put too many units in that require way too much. And obviously the Scarecrows, when they release the Crows create even more units so that will make it lag even more and they've actually wiped out loads of the halflings already so i think i may have overpowered the scarecrows i think maybe five might have had it although they are walking over they are getting close now can they get hold of them and kill them before them crows do too much damage although i think the crows get a little bit nullified Really, when the halflings grab hold of the individual crows, the crows don't seem to really be able to attack. So that's quite interesting. And I really don't know what's going on now. So red still won. Even though we put in ten scarecrows this time, rather than just three, the red still won. So I don't know how many there will need to be, but if you want to see it, let me know down in the comments and we'll see how many scarecrows it takes to kill 100 halflings but for now we're going to move on to the next one now this next battle wasn't suggested by donna but it's something i've been wanting to show you because i found out about it recently and it's absolutely awesome it absolutely cracks me up 
it's just hilarious. And for that, we need some cheerleaders, which are quite useless people, usually. But I think that should be enough. Let's, um, we'll put in two rings of them. And then we need the mace spinner, which is a special unit as well. We put, we'll put the mace spinners in the middle just to make it look a little bit prettier. And let's just put in loads of halflings. Just because we need quite a few that can just survive for quite a while. So it can happen, what I want to show you. So, we've, let's, we'll, we'll do 80. And then, let's go. So, obviously we know that the cheerleaders up the power of the different units. But I didn't know that this could be possible with the mace spinner. So if I let it go, it should, if we watch, create a tornado. Which I think is absolutely awesome. It makes the mace spinner go fast and actually create a tornado. But the problem is, the tornado just attacks absolutely everything. So the cheerleaders actually get destroyed as well. But we do have two tornadoes going now. And I absolutely love it. It just looks so awesome with them flying around with the mace spinner just controlling a tornado. Now that battle over there is a little bit boring. So let's go to one where there's loads more people. Although he's actually moving away from the people. But let's watch it at full speed. And just watch it go even crazier. And they've actually connected onto each other. Which I didn't expect to happen. But the problem is I think that's just going to keep them flying. So we're going to keep going up with them. At normal speed. And I think they're just going to keep going up and up and up and up. How high can we actually... Oh no they're falling back down now. They are falling back down. That was... Actually, really interesting. I did not know that they could make each other fly up. But that was awesome. I love that. I think one of them actually died. I think that's why they fell back down. But I didn't know that they could pick each other up. That could be quite interesting to see what happens if you put too many in. Now, they are still alive, the Blues. They are taking a while to die. I don't really know who's left. Because he just keeps dragging bodies around. So they're all just moving. But he doesn't seem to actually be able to hit it. Should we slow it down and have a look at him again? Because he is awesome. I really do love the mace spinner. Now there is one thing I'm going to have to test against this as well. Which is going to be even more awesome. And I don't think he's going to be able to kill the last one. So we might just have to move on to that. We'll let it go for a little bit. Because oh, I think there's two left. Maybe. I don't really know. Because it looks like they're all moving. But that's just him moving them. Because he's even moving our dead friends. So I don't really know what to do at this stage. Do I stop it myself? Or do I just see if he can kill whichever one's alive? Because it's got to be one of these three. It's got to be one of them. But I don't know which one. Because he seems to just be attacking all of them. Right. Okay, he brought another three in. So it's definitely one of these two. I think it's the one on the left... I think, or it might be all of them. I mean, I don't know. But we're going to have to stop the battle. Because otherwise this is going to go on way too long. Because he doesn't seem to be able to kill them. So, we're going to stop that. And there's one thing that I really want to try. And that is the firework archers versus tornadoes. Now, I don't really know how many put, to put in. Because I don't want them to kill him straight away. Obviously. I don't want the tornadoes to die straight away, but I don't want these guys to die straight away. So what if we do five? Now, has that hit anywhere near? I could do with them firing again, but it doesn't look like they're going to, so they won. So let's change this up a bit. Let's put in the mace spinners, but actually put them at the front of the cheerleaders so they definitely get shot by fireworks. So he is spinning... And he, they will blow up. There we go. So we do actually... He did get caught up with it. But we didn't really get to see much. So maybe it's not that good. Let's give it one more try. And we'll put in... Some more firework archers. Let's put in... Maybe 20. No, we'll, go, we'll stick with 10. We'll go with 10. And see if that changes it. Because obviously they've been shot now. So they are flying off. But we do have a tornado going as well. And he has just flown off crazy. Does it just up their speed or something when they get shot by them? I mean, I really don't know what's going on now. 
not as fun as I thought it was going to be, but it was definitely worth the test. So, let's move on to the uh, next battle. Back to the suggested battles as well. So the last one we did out of the suggested ones were the 100 halflings. So the next one is 10 of every tier 1 unit versus 1 of every top tier unit, not including the specials. That's what I've been told to do. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got 10 of each of these, which it might make it lag a bit, but we're going to see what happens. So we've got 10 of those. Then we've got 10 halflings. And then 10 bards, which they don't really do anything. They're quite useless units, but we'll put them in anyway. And then we've got 10 of the shield guys. Um, what was that? That was ancient. Then we've got 10 of the head butters, which is pretty cool. And then 10 samurai. And I'd like to put one more down there, not on top of the building, would be nice. There we go. So that is 10 of every tier 1 unit. So if we go back, we then have to put in one of every top tier unit. So we have a mammoth. We have a scarecrow. We have a king. Nice. Then we have a Zeus. Uh, what was next? It would be... That one. <laughs> Um, and then Dynasty would be, weren't it? Yes, it would. And then a Monkey King. So let's see who wins out of this. I probably should have lined them up a little bit better. But we're just going to go anyway. Because why not? So let's see who wins. 10 of every bottom unit or 1 of every top unit. Now I'm, I think the top unit are going to have it. But maybe not, because... No, I think they've definitely got it, because all we've got left is bards, who are just running around really aimlessly, because that's all they actually do. And they should be dead. There we go. So did we actually kill any blues? We've got a dead guy down here. And we've got a dead guy here. And here. So I think the ones that died were actually part of the ship. That's it. All the other ones just survived. So, yeah, top units are a lot more powerful, obviously, than the bottom ones, which makes sense. So, let's move on to the next battle, shall we? So, the next battle is Crash Bandicoot versus Spyro. Now, obviously, this one's going to be awesome, based on gaming characters, which is awesome, and it just on its own. So, you could just imagine what the last one's going to be after this one. So, definitely make sure to stick around right till the very end. So, we have to create Crash Bandicoot. And to create that, we need three Mace Spinners. So, where were my Mace Spinners? There they were. One, two, three. It doesn't really look like Crash Bandicoot, but that's what we're going with. And then Spyro, obviously Spyro the Dragon. And for that, we need a Dragon. So we have a dragon. Now, I think Crash Bandicoot's going to have it. Because I still don't really rate the dragon that much. It's good against a group, but they move very fast. So we'll see what happens. Let's go. I mean, I do like the dragon because he attacks very fast straight away. But as soon as these start spinning, it should be over pretty quick. I do miss the cheerleaders, though. Because the mace spinner with the cheerleaders is awesome. And is that it? That is it. So Crash Bandicoot definitely won that one. That just annihilated Spyro. So let's give Spyro a bit of a chance. And we'll go with three Spyros versus three people to make up Crash Bandicoot. And I think Spyro's got this. Yep. So the dragons are quite good if you group them together. But not that great on their own. So let's move on. To the final battle. Now this is the one that I was saving till the end. Because it sounded absolutely awesome when it was suggested. And that is Team Marvel Heroes. Versus Team Marvel Villains. That's right. We've put Marvel into tabs. Now I've had to write it all down on a piece of paper. Because there's a lot of them. So I will be reading from the list as I put them in. So you'll have to bear with me while I place them all. So 
We're going to start with the heroes team first of all, which I've been told to put on the red side. Not my choice, Donna's choice, so that's how we're going to do it. And the first one is in Dynasty, and that is the Firework Archer, which is Hawkeye. So, we've got a Hawkeye. And then we need one Brawler from the Viking faction, and that is Captain America, which makes sense with the shield, really. And they're making really weird noises. Please don't do that noise again. Thank you very much. Then we need a healer, which actually makes perfect sense. Uh, if I go to the right one, Medieval. For Vision. Now, obviously, he can't fly. So, not really Vision. But I'm guessing it's because of the beam. It just really does look like Vision's beam. So, we've then got Vision into it. And then we need a Samurai from the Dynasty Faction. And that is going to be Iron Man. And I'm assuming that's because of, obviously, all the metal armor and everything. It makes sense, kind of. It works. It works as Iron Man. And then the next one, obviously, has to be the Tree Giant. And as you know, that's Groot. And that's another one that makes perfect sense. <laughs> so, where are we up to? Then we've got one Minotaur, which should be in Ancient, and that is Hulk. So we have a Minotaur as Hulk, which kind of makes sense. He runs around and he punches things and everything. It, it makes sense. So, then we've got a Bone Mage, which is the Scarlet Witch, which kind of makes sense. It's magical powers. Another one. Pretty good choice. Pretty good matchup for it. Then we've got a Monk from the Dynasty Faction, and that is Black Widow, which makes sense because it's all like ninja -y fighting skills. Pretty cool. Then we've got a Monkey King as Spider-Man, which makes sense as well with all the jumping around. So, most of these do actually make pretty good sense, which is kind of awesome. They don't look like them, but it kind of makes sense. So, then we've got a potion seller. Now, that's obviously, obviously Doctor Strange. And then we are down to a Joel. Where was the Joel? Joel is in Viking, I believe. Yes, and that is Thor. Which is, I mean, Thor, when he gets his axe... Stormbreaker kind of makes sense. I wish they had one in that had a hammer though. It would be pretty cool if they put in a unit with a hammer. That would make this video a lot more interesting. But we're going with the one with the axe as Thor. Why not? Then we've got a Valkyrie. Which is Falcon. Makes sense again with the wings. Obviously. Then we've got two Halflings. And they are Ant-Man and Rocket. Because they're tiny. Tiny little people. Tiny, tiny people. Then we've got a Harvester. And that is Black Panther. Now I don't really know where to put him. Because the list's getting a bit long. We'll just put him down on the end anyway. We'll do it that way. It makes sense. Then we've got a Samurai Giant. Which is another one that makes sense. I'm guessing this is why the Iron Man Samurai one makes sense. Because obviously Hulkbuster is just a big Iron Man suit. And if I could find what I'm looking for, it'd make it a lot easier. There we go. Is the Samurai Giant. Let's move him over a little bit. Because then that way it's just a giant Iron Man. Which works perfectly again. And then we've got an Ice Archer as Star-Lord. Which I'm assuming that they wanted me to do that because of the way that Star-Lord's gun fires. Obviously it makes sense with the way that the Ice Arrow goes. So, we'll try and fit that. Where can we put that? There, maybe? I don't really want to go down the list of, anymore. Although, I do have a space there, I think. There we go. He can fit in there. There you go, Star-Lord. And then we've got a Berserker from there, which is Drax. Which makes sense, because Drax is basically a massive Berserker. So, that is, if we go down, that is the Marvel Heroes. Made in tabs, which I think actually works really well. It's awesome. They look really good to be a part of it. So, now, we have to put in the enemy. And that is the villains. So, I'm going to work from the bottom of the list upwards. Because obviously I want to save the last one till the end. I think you all know who it's going to be. But, we're still going to do it for the end. So, we have got one dragon. 
Where is my dragon? So we've got a dragon, and that is Killian. Which, yeah, that's a pretty good choice for Killian. Then we've got a Harvester. Um, if I can find the Harvester, there he is. We've got a Harvester, which is Killmonger. Which, yeah, fair enough. Then we've got an Ice Archer again. Where is my Vikings? There we go. And that is Loki. And we're going to put the Ice Archer back a little bit. Just to give Loki a bit more of a chance. Why not? Then we've got a Mammoth. Which is Curse. So we've got a Mammoth. Then we have one Protector. Where's the Protector? There's the Protector. And that is... Who was that one? That was Red Skull. Now, I don't really know why. I suppose because of the skull on the head. I'd assume that's why it's Red Skull. So, yeah. <laughs> kind of makes sense. Just because of the skull on the head. And then we've got Ironmonger, which is a samurai giant. So, now I need to find that again. There we go. Then we've got that one. And then we've got a Scarecrow. Which is there. And that is Vulture. And we could put Vulture... Oh, no. Vulture kind of covers... Let's put Vulture over there. That kind of works. And then the final one is obviously the Ice Giant. And that is Thanos. Of course that's Thanos. So there we have it. That is our hero team. Which is pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Versus the villains. Which also looks very good. Apart from the Smiling Dragon. That's a little bit off-putting. A really friendly looking villain. But... I like it. I think it is an awesome idea to do as a battle in tabs. So let's get on with it and see who wins. Heroes or villains. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's slow it down a bit. So we have already got Drax jumping in, which kind of makes sense to be honest. And then we've got Spider-Man swinging his way in. Um, Groot has finally got there and so has Hulkbuster. Now, really, what we need is the big units to focus on Thanos and then the little guys to focus on the other ones. I think that would probably be the best option. We've got Vision doing his job down there, healing group, which is probably our best bet to win as the heroes, I'd guess. Then we've got Hawkeye just happily firing off and not really hitting anything, so a bit rubbish from Hawkeye in this battle. But still pretty cool. Come on, who's going to do it? I haven't really seen Thor do much. Or Black Widow, for that matter. Black Widow's not really doing much either. So that's kind of disappointing. But we'll let time speed up a little bit to just let it carry on. But we do now have Groot going up against Thanos. Come on. I don't really know which battle to watch. Right, so that one finished. So I think it's just Thanos left now. Oh no, we do have some other little guys. That's fine. Thanos is taking people on. Look at him. Whoa. Well, bye Hulkbuster. Hulkbuster's gone. And so is Groot. Wow. Okay. So it's now just down to... Okay. It's now just down to Hawkeye. Can he get him before he gets killed? No, he can't. So Thanos won. He has brought balance to the universe. I mean, he could have just snapped his finger, but he didn't. But that was an awesome battle. I absolutely loved that one. I, I think they should just do the entire Marvel Endgame movie in tabs. I think it'd be awesome. That might actually have to be something that I look into, is making that, because that'd be so funny. I'd love it. But it'd be quite hard, because obviously it can be completely random, because I guarantee if I start that again, then it'll actually end up making a different team win. It'll end up making red team beat blue team. So, I could play that while I do my outro. So, we probably won't see the end unless it gets really interesting. But, we'll give it another go. Let it go on for a little bit. Just to see if red gain an advantage at any point. Which, I think they might this time. Because, obviously, the mammoth died straight away. We've already taken down the Samurai Giant. So I think Red are actually going to win this one this time. So the heroes are going to win. Yeah, because all we've got left is Thanos. And we've got pretty much every other hero still alive. 
and Groot is going to town on Thanos. Go on, Groot. And I think Thanos is stuck as well, which just makes it even better. And there you go. The heroes won that time. And quite quickly as well. So it is completely random every time, pretty much. You never see the same battle twice. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I absolutely loved that last battle. It was awesome. So thank you, Donna, for suggesting these battles. It's been incredible. If any of you have any other suggestions, just leave them down in the comments. And I'll be more than happy to put them in a future video. And also, don't forget to join my Discord if you want to be featured in any of my future Fortnite videos. You can find the link down in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all my new videos and live streams. Peace out.